So hi, welcome back. Uh, we want to continue our discussion on piezo foam. So before we start copying and importing some changes over, uh, yeah, we want to um, carry on, you know, trying out, see whether uh, trying out a test of this piezo foam algorithm. So let's check, take a look at this all run file and see what's inside. All right. So all it says is this: there are three steps to this. Three steps to this uh, run file. One is run application block mesh, and then it says run application double set, and then it says run application, and then it puts this dollar sign get application. So what does this mean? Well, if we look at our control big file, okay, we look at our control dig file, it will have an app, uh, it will have a entry called application here. So if you use your all run and then you type that code in to say I'm looking for some application, uh, it looks like the script will look into this control dig file and it will find what the application is, and then it will run piezo form. So we do ICO form in that we put ICO form in that place. We we can uh, uh, run the thing using ICO form instead. Okay, so. Let's see whether we can run the code manually. Okay, so we'll just have block mesh, topo set, and piezo form. That's all the three steps we need to run. So block mesh. So that's done. Topo set. That's done. And then piezo form. Okay, so piezo form will run pretty much like ICO form, right? So it'll do its business. Uh, okay. Let's see. Current number is less than one. So you want to pause the you know printing of things. You can just click the thing, click the click the screen. You'll do that. You press enter. You'll just go straight to uh, where it was running before. So now it's skipped like twenty seconds already. Okay, so while that is running, okay, now that has run finished, okay. So that's one successful run of piezo foam. Uh, all right, so you have all these data files now. You can just press L instead of LS. It'll do the functionally. It'll be quite the same thing. Okay. So we don't have a clean case there, but I mean this is good enough. We have a sort of an idea how to run piezo foam. All right, so. Well, we, we might as well do a clean, uh, all clean. Okay, so I'll skip. Okay, I'll go VI all run. I'll make a, uh, I'll make a, I want to look at a way of making a new all clean file. So we'll do a clean case. QA exclamation mark. VI all clean. Press the insert and we insert this thing in here. And let's me change it from run function to clean function. That's what the all clean insert. Okay, let me see whether it's a capital. Oh yeah, it's a capital, so Capital letter at the beginning and it's a clean case. Okay, so I'll do that and ch mod uh, 755 all clean. So let's do all clean and then yeah, this is a very simple all clean script. All done, very good. So that's a successful running of piezo foam, right? So let's see whether we can port it over to our github open form so let's see the github open form workspace we go to fin pipe flow stacking x mesh let's do a git status here okay and see whether there are any changes to pull in case i uh, did something master oh 
Okay, branch is up to date, no problem. Uh, let me clear this file, file because it's getting uh, obstructed. Uh, let's see, piezo foam, right? And then uh, we have all of these things here. So remember what's the first thing we need to change. We need to go to the constant file and then we'll start needing to Hmm, where is the transport properties? Yes, we are transport properties. Okay, so what's the first thing we need to change? As we were discussing just now, we'll need to change um we'll need to change the transport property file. Constant uh, transport properties. So in we'll need to have this thing transport model entry. Okay, so remember we can open two windows. This is very advantageous if we want to do things like this. So I have a transport model called Newtonian, and then I'll put it in there. The rest, I'm keeping it as the same. Okay. All right, so we'll quit all. Okay, what's the next thing we need to change? Okay, so we'll need to, we'll need to uh, cons go to the constant file, and we'll look at turbulence properties. All right, simulation type lamina, nothing too different. I'm just going to copy everything here. And then I want to make a new turbulence properties. So make sure the spelling's right. So QA. So I see turbulence properties here. Turbulence properties, turbulence properties. Spelling the same, and we go. So you press the insert button, and you'll put this in. And it says simulation type lamina. Nothing too much to bother about. We just quit the thing. Okay, so at least for the constant file, we have make sure that the inputs required to run piezo form are there. The transport properties and the turbulence properties are both in. Okay, so what is next? Let's take a look at the system file. The system file is where we control everything. Let's see what we have in system. So we have much more many more dictionaries and remember the block mesh dict and the control dict are pretty much the same but of course uh, we want to see you know, for the sake of thoroughness I mean you want you can change this application thing you don't really have to uh, and just for the to prove a point I won't change it and then we can just run piezo form as it is okay so time step is as such maybe we will run we'll run to run for about 100,000 instead of 500,000 yeah, delta t is as such. Okay, so instead of that, we can do a five hundred. Okay, so what is the next thing we need to make? We need to take a look at the FB schemes. Okay. So let's look at FB schemes. We just need to add this entry. I'm not going to change anything else. Okay. So we have a divergent scheme. And then we'll just put this in here. To run piezo from properly. Okay. And let's see whether this works. Okay. Okay. We'll quit this. Save and quit. So we can try look at it again. Now the new entries are there. All the rest are the same. And what is the last thing? We need to look at FB solution. So let's look at FB solution for this. All right, so there's a P, there's a P final, and then all this is the same because we copied over from the, uh, we copied this over from, uh, what do you call that? Uh, cavity folder so it's pretty much the same we didn't change anything here okay so there's a tolerance there's a tolerance entry I mean we can just copy and paste it over blindly so to speak this tolerance entry but I'm not gonna put a tolerance entry here <coughs> just to see whether that really affects the piece of the running of piece of foam right so this entry I'm gonna change from you to this whole line here that's all I'm gonna do so we're gonna try and run piece of foam by changing the all run file. I'm going to clear this. 
And let's take a look at their run file. So run application, no longer icoform, you're gonna run piece of form this time. Piece of form. So okay, our in, in this uh, case we've already run our block mesh, snapping X mesh, blah 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 blah. Let's try running piezo form on this baby. Okay. And maybe okay, I'm gonna put an N down there so that it can run things in parallel. So okay. So let's take a look at the log.piezo form and see what happens. Okay, so this is uh, making mesh and everything, blah, blah, blah. Let's try running piezo form again. Never mind. We'll just run it as per normal. Okay, stop. Let's try doing the run file. Okay. I'm going to remove the log.piezo form. Or is there anything new there? Yeah, I want to I want to see whether this piezo form is actually running. Maybe I typed a bit too fast. So clear. Let's see log. So there's nothing here. It says done. So remove log piezo form. Okay, let's try running again. Oh, oops. run n okay so let's see the log dot piezo form so it looks like it's running yep it's running very nicely the current number is very much below uh, one so that's a good thing so basically um, we have enough things to actually start running piezo form so it's pretty much going to run the same as ico form Okay, so the piezo form laminar is supposed to help us generate similar results with the I, uh, ICO form, right? So uh, at least qualitatively, they should be the same. But you know, this this tutorial is just this guide is just here to tell us how to run code. Doesn't doesn't mean the code is being run right, or uh, I mean, doesn't mean the results will be exactly the same. We have not come to that point yet. But at least it tells us, you know, uh, we have a way of running. Uh, piece of foam at the laminar level so of course we can uh, do the touch uh, touch a piece of foam snappy hex mesh pipe blah 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 we can do that later once this thing is done because I'm running this in parallel by using the N sign so see we have run a few time steps already okay so it's gonna quit and you know call it call it the so-called end of this video and while it's running let me go and update this on github right we have a basic piezo form yeah commit m piezo form added the basic bit set all right so all right then git push all right, all right. I'm just gonna push this to GitHub. Uh, stop this video here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.